Sheep hunting is my passion because it takes you to beautiful places. I've seen some of the most beautiful country there is by chasing sheep. They're awesome animals. They're always up in the nasty stuff. They're hard to find, hard to hunt, and that's why I like it. I like the challenge, I like the work, and it keeps us out here in God's country. Then he killed this ram. So day, day one he missed that ram, day two he killed this ram, day three I took this guy in, killed that ram. Day four we went in and killed that ram. I had three rams done in four days. So I started sheep hunting when I was 17 years old. Uh, I went on my first sheep hunt, so that's 21 years ago now. And I just fell in love with it. And I knew that's what I wanted to do, so I, I pretty much put my mindset to to being a sheep outfitter. So when we started Shoshone Lodge Outfitters, that's what we focused on. And I think we started with three hunters, then we went to seven, and then ever since then we've had, you know, 15 to 26 sheep hunters a year. Right now we're averaging about 20 bighorns a year here in Wyoming, and uh, we run on super high success rates. I think our success rate's 90, 98 plus percent. Um, so we've had very few clients go home without rams. As far as, you know, what to expect when you come on these hunts, you need to get in the best shape you can. I mean, even if you think you're in shape, get in better shape because no matter what, it's gonna kick your butt. I do this every day and it still kicks my butt. You're gonna have lots of horseback miles and uh, you're gonna have plenty of hiking. So uh, get in the best shape that you can. Another thing I tell my clients, whether you're shooting a bow, a crossbow, gun, rifle, muzzleloader, whatever you're using, know your weapon. Practice further than you expect to be shooting so that when you get a shot, it's a chip shot. You know, whether it's a rifle, practice a thousand yards constantly. That way you get a five, six, seven hundred yard shot. You know, it's, it's very doable. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people come here and they don't practice enough with their weapons. They don't know how to judge the wind. They, the elevation is what gets a lot of people. So most people come here, if they miss, they miss high. That's why the Huskmaw system is so awesome. You can get the turrets built for, for the elevation that you're hunting. And all you gotta do is get there, pop the turret on, zero your rifle at that elevation, and you're good to go. Tells you the wind reads, everything. But still, don't just go buy a Huskamaw, bring it on a sheep hunt. You gotta practice. These mountain hunts ain't for the weak of heart. I mean, you gotta have heart, and you gotta, you gotta be able to push yourself. No matter what, you're gonna be wore out. No matter what, you're gonna hurt, you're gonna be sore. So you just gotta be ready for that. Don't give up. If you don't give up, we're gonna get you animals. Um, but you gotta come here with the mindset you're gonna you're gonna work yourself harder than you've maybe ever worked yourself on these hunts. So, so just come here ready for uh, to get your ass kicked and uh, be miserable, but it'll it'll turn out to be one of the best hunts of your life. Sheep hunting is, um, it's really, um, it's an amazing thing. You know, the, the, the efforts that have been put into conservation, a lot of people that really care about keeping and putting sheep on the mountain. So the conservation efforts made by lots of different conservation groups, uh, the Wild Sheep Foundation being one of them. Uh, the guides here, uh, they are so passionate. They just love hunting sheep. And I think, I th the reason I think so is it's really one of the most challenging animals to hunt. And it's just, it's just a true hunt through and through uh, from all aspects, just the, the, the horses, the, the, the camping. Um, it's character building in every way. And every time you go through a character building experience, of course, you're always better off. You, you grow a lot because you don't have a choice. And you learn a lot about yourself and your own physical capabilities and mental capabilities. And I think that's why, you know, people love it because what else can you do in life so worthwhile to challenge yourself mentally and physically. Josh was planning for us to go a couple more hours by horseback and mule deeper in. We stopped in this nice park and just did some glass and took a break and uh, he spotted a band of rams uh, way out there up in this mountain. He basically said, you know, it's worth going after. There's, there's, there's two in there that are going to be 
dandies. Couldn't tell for sure, but just big bodies, big heavy horns. So that was our game plan. found some rams and kind of put them to bed. We woke up and found them up on the mountain again. 13 rams with four solid ones and two, two really, really good rams. And uh, me and my brother split and he went up and um, I stayed with Joe and took off up the river. Not much trails going on around here. So we beat a path through the trees and through the creek bottoms and got our way up there, but it's all all about being patient up here because um, if you get in a hurry, get someone hurt, um, spook the rams, any of that. So got them as far as we could up the creek and then tied them up and got our packs as light as we could with pretty much just the bare essentials, you know, rain gear, food and water and well, rifle tag and, and uh, ammo. We're on foot the rest of the way. Not sure how far we have to go. Although we have a lot of vertical to climb. So, um, we just uh, really hope that it's all worth it, you know. We hope that that's the one. And uh, bet you never know. That's hunting. So, uh, it's exciting to be here. Exciting to uh, have this opportunity. Uh, these horses and mules are amazing. Uh, they take a lot of work out of it. So, um, yeah, don't know what's in store for us in the next hour or two, but uh, I guarantee it'll be exciting. All right, I made it up the mountain. Um, found 24 ramps, and uh, finally this bunch have been watching it stepped out of the timber, and there's two really awesome ramps in there, so... Um, Jordan and, and Joe and, and the crew were headed up to, to see if they can get one, so we'll see what happens. So we uh, took off from the horses, started making our way up the creek bottom, just slow and easy. Um, I knew where the rams were from the night before, and uh, so I kind of had a general idea, but the way the land laid, it just made it really difficult, so we just had to really take our time. Um, taking a few steps, glassing, taking a few more steps, glassing, just slowly picking our way up the up the creek. Um, and uh, we get up there, and I knew that the way that the rams were acting the day before, it was really strange. They were getting up and, I mean, f just moving all over, like not feeding very much, just moving all over from one drainage to one side to the other, and it made it really tricky, but uh, we got up there, and slowly just worked our way up the creek and finally I got eyes on seven of the littler rams and that made it a little easier but I couldn't see the two that we were after so we had to gain a little more elevation try and get in the window in the trees and it made it tough but Joe did a great job he uh, came to this hunt prepared his other sheep hunts of course kind of helped out but he came in shape ready to go and that makes our job just that much easier um, he was right behind me every step of the way. Keep going, couple more steps, couple more steps, keep glassing. Finally get the, the one ram spotted right on the ridge line, the ones that we wanted. And of course they don't stop for us. We had 
had a clearing of the whole face of the mountain and they went the one direction that we didn't need them to go and that was down country. We thought we had a good vantage point. We had a little window. I couldn't see embedded, but we knew they were just behind this little bit of timber. And when they got up, instead of just hanging out and, and feeding, they just took off running. And, um, and uh, we were set up at about 550 yards. Everything was perfect. When they reappeared, they were actually coming down towards us. So we repositioned, got to a really good vantage point. And we just kind of got really, really lucky, I think. Uh, they were coming down through the timber. You could see a couple here, a couple there. Um, hard to figure out which ones were the big ones. Uh, we finally kind of got a glimpse of where the two bigger ones were. Through the trees, couldn't get a shot. And honestly, uh, we thought we were um, done. We were, we were getting ready just to pick up and move to a different vantage point. And actually our uh, uh, cameraman Terrence said, wait a minute, what's that? And back in this little tiny hole through the timber was this big one really heavy, really long, and uh, everything kind of had to come together real quick. I had to put the pack back down, get the gun on the pack. Take him. Smokes, boys. Congratulations, buddy. I can't believe it worked like that. Yeah. One, the smallest clearing over there. That was one heck of a hunt. Um, it was a lot of highs and lows, a lot of excitement. That's, that's hunting, that's especially sheep hunting. We knew it was a nice ram, but man, walking up to it, I can't really put it in words, but it was uh, an awe-inspiring, grace-filled moment, to say the least. You know, it's just, it's something else to see the look on somebody's face when they finish their Grand Slam and get their hands on, on a beautiful Wyoming bighorn. It's, a, it's an amazing feeling even for us, you know. So I went on my first sheep hunt when I was 11 years old. My brother was guiding him. And uh, I remember I went in there to take them food. Me and my dad went in and uh, took them a bunch of food because they were running out. It was an archery traditional hunt. And we went in there on the 30th of August and helped him scout on the 31st for opening morning with rifle on the 1st of September. And I remember just going up and staying with my brother right at tree line and sleeping in our mommy bags and 11 year old kid that's a pretty awesome feeling and I got to watch them shoot that ram and I thought it I mean I fell in love that day and started guiding when I was 18 years old and there's nothing on this earth that I'd rather do than than guide sheep hunters it's just uh, I mean it and, and to be able to work with my brother I mean that was always our dream is to get our own outfitting business we started out guiding for other people and then it just, you know, God's grace, it just worked out. We both got to work together and do our thing, the, the thing that we love, you know. Yeah, sheep hunting is really unbelievable. Um, I never knew I was going to be a sheep hunter. Um, it really just started about four years ago. I went on a hunt with a buddy. We went on a mountain goat hunt up in B.C., a few hundred miles north of Prince George. I remember stopping on this high ridge and glassing and looking down below me and there was a, a, a band of sheep and, and they were stone sheep and I'd never seen them before. They were just so fun to watch. I just couldn't stop watching them. But I kind of said to myself, man, I, I need to come back here and hunt these stone sheep. That was just the, the beauty up there, the wilderness, uh, horseback. I ended up uh, booking a stone sheep hunt with that same outfitter for two years later. And that was a crazy hunt, a great hunt, physically taxing, mentally, you got to be mentally strong. It's just not easy, but that's what makes it rewarding. And uh, I was successful on that trip and, and kind of caught the bug. I don't know how you say it to any, all you sheep hunters out there. I think once you catch, catch the sheep bug, you're doomed for more hunting in a good way. <laughs> so that was kind of the start of it. And I ended up shooting a nice desert bighorn down in Mexico. That was a heck of an experience, heck of a hunt. And then booked a, a caribou and doll sheep hunt with, with canola outfitters. 
very successful, all of us. We got a couple nice caribou, but I got a really, really nice doll sheep ram, and that was a tough, tough hunt. That was kind of like this. We went in an area that Josh hadn't been in in a long time, and, and uh, he said we're kind of going back to no man's land. Uh, very, very difficult hunting. Thought, what the heck, if there's a you know potential for a good ram, let's do it. I always just said, if you can find me a ram, I'll, I'll physically get to it somehow. And I did, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was a, this was a, a, a difficult hunt because we were going up the whole way. It, once we got off the horses, it was just uphill stalking for five hours. By the time we made it happen, I was pretty shot, pretty physically exhausted. Anyway, now sheep hunting is the ultimate hunting. I don't think there's anything uh, that you is more difficult to hunt, more rewarding to hunt than sheep. Thank you.